Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more FIFA 22 career mode here today on the channel. We have Season 1, Episode 4 of my realistic slash sensible Barcelona save. The bankrupt Barcelona challenge. We're not allowed to sign any players because we're under a transfer embargo until we clear the 1 billion euro debt. And we're back on FIFA's realism mod. Of course, in today's episode, to start things off, we have the Copa del Rey final against Atletico Madrid, and then we have the semi-finals of the UEFA Champions League against Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool. Hopefully, we can win our first trophy of the season. We're still fighting for top four in La Liga and trying to get to that final of the Champions League. Frankie de Jong starting off the first real attack for Barca, and Memphis has gone and slipped his way on through. But Obelak is between the big sticks. Dembele. Oh, he's nearly tucked that one in. Playing it short. That's how I like it in Barca. Kondogbia. Jao Felix. Lorente. Back to Jao Felix. Lorente fouled. Kondogbia goal. Is it offside? No, nah, it's going to stay on. Well, unfortunately, Terstegen concedes the first goal of the Copa del Rey. Final. Can dog be up? Puts his name on the score sheet. Oh, Memphis burns Hermoso and answers quickly. Oh my god. What a superb, what a fantastic piece of skill moves there by Memphis. And we've made it 1 1. Are we playing at the Santiago Bernabeu? I think we are as well. A little bit unfair for the Barcelona boys to go to Madrid. Wanda where they usually play, the Wanda Metropolitana, Atleti, have only just come over the road <laughs> in Madrid. Oh, wow. 1-1. One, one. We've answered quickly with a fantastic piece of skill by Memphis. Memphis to pie. Memphis, back at it again. Dude, he feels so good in career mode. Slips through Dembele, and it's another goal. I'm actually kind of gobsmacked and blown away how good Memphis is. Because for years, I didn't really rate him in career mode, to be honest. Particularly when he's at Man United. I didn't play with him too much when he was had his stint at Lille. But he feels so good. Like, he feels like an Aguero, but like a little bit shorter, to be honest. But now that we've converted him to a striker, the dude is running the Barcelona front line. But who would have thought in 2021... That Memphis would be carrying Barcelona. I wouldn't have picked that, to be honest. Particularly after his United days. Push back to Frankie de Jong. He's really wanted to go forward here. Maybe, oh, a bit of skill by Frankie. Pedri to Frankie. Might have to go all the way. Oh, he puts it wide. What a good run. Yeah, they must be just like targeting Pedri and Push so much. But Frankie's finding a lot of space. Speaking of space, my defense has collapsed here. Lorente, can Atleti make it 2-2? <sighs> Denied. Tersteg and Catra like reflexes with a god, godly dive. And we've managed to hold on to Atleti's onslaught. Second half now. We want to continue our cushion if we can. Oh, and he's put that top right. Dude, Memphis's finishing is on point. 3-1. We might win our first trophy. That would be awesome in our first season. Because it might take us a couple. The main objective is to win the Liga and the Champions League in as few seasons as possible. But giving us the Copa del Rey will give us the confidence. Because I don't think we're going to be able to win La Liga. I don't think it's possible because we were just too far down. I think all we can hope for is a top three finish. Carrera to Joe Felix. Oh, um, okay. Atleti are back in it. A one goal cushion in FIFA as well. Absolutely nothing, to be honest. Wow. They just out-muscled my defense there more than anything. I wasn't necessarily high-octane incredibly gorgeous skill moves. It was just pure strength. Oh, they're on here again, Atleti. João Felix to Yannick Carrasco. Oh, how's that gone in? That was a, that was a terrible header 
floating and soft. Ter Stegen gets beaten at the near post and actually bounced on in. Okay. Well, maybe we're not destined to win the Copa del Rey. It's 3-3. And we've capitulated with two goals back-to-back. -back. Oh, that's really unlucky. Ter Stegen just beaten. It could have very well gone wide, but it's off the post and in. João Felix. Carrera. Carrasco. That's a joke that that went in. That's an absolute joke. <sighs> How does that go in? Atleti score three goals back to back. That's ultimate difficulty for you. Come on, we're not down and out for the count just yet. We've got 20 minutes. Go on, boys. Memphis to De Jong. Go on, Frankie. Please finish this. And he does. 4-4. <laughs> From the neutral Spanish perspective, I guess they think this Copa del Rey is an absolute cracker. <laughs> wow. Okay. This could very well go to penalties in the end. <laughs> Crazy scenes in the Copa del Rey. Go on, Dembele. Hang on. We might be able to get a goal here. Memphis beats one. Beats two. Oh, it's off the post. Oh, but it's on in. Oh, we've done it. We've avoided going to penalties. How have we come back with that? Man, it is just... A fury, a fury of punches all over the place. <laughs> left, right, left, right, counter punching. Atleti go on and score three, and then I come back with two. We nearly absolutely threw it away there, though. But Dembele. Oh, that's it. Thanks to a Dembele ricochet, we've won the Copa del Rey at. The Santiago Bernabeu in Madrid, Spain. Wow. Got to give it to Atleti. They really came to party. And now they have to go and focus on their Champions League match against uh, Manchester United, I believe. But here are the celebrations and festivities. In Season 1 of our Barcelona Career Series, we've won our first trophy in outstanding fashion with a crazy scoreline. Ter Stegen lifts the Copa del Rey trophy, the Spanish FA Cup for, for the English viewers, essentially. In crazy circumstances, a 5-4 glorious victory and triumph. Over Atletico Madrid. Let's go, man. Oh, wow. So that's given us some confidence, given the team a morale boost to go into a cup final and push on to win it. Hopefully, we can do that if we can make the Champions League final. But that's going to be easier said than done because you know who awaits us in the semifinals? Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool. Who knocked us out on their run to the final when Messi was at the club. And yeah, they've been, what, is it two finals or three finals in five years or something crazy? I can't remember. All the years all meshed together now. <laughs> Post 2020, everything's just gone a bit mad. But yeah, they have had Champions League final pedigree within the last couple of years, so. They're one of the teams you kind of don't want to face in the Champions League, to be perfectly honest. But anyway, let's get stuck into Liverpool. But here we are. We've won the Copa del Rey, which is brilliant. And now we've got the Champions League in today's video. Alrighty, let's get stuck into Liverpool then, at home, at the Camp Nou, Ronaldo is the top goal scorer, followed by Memphis for us, and 
Not too many changes. Um, I'm kind of happy for them to play in the yellow kit. Yeah, I think that stands out a lot. Rather than the white. Robertson Van Dyke. Oh, they've got Zelinski in goal. Okay. Um, pretty decent. Wow, that's actually a really smart signing by Liverpool. Poland. Polish international from Napoli. Very strong midfielder. He'd probably be better than Kieda to be... Well, man, could you imagine Zelensky? I, I kind of rate him as a career mode player ever since I signed him for free in that United series I did a fair few years ago. He was an absolute beast in the midfield. Yeah, he'd be really good for Liverpool. Dembele. Ball in. Had to go aerially. Yeah, denied. Memphis. Oh! He's managed to rotate Van Dyke somehow, but he's run out of space. Had to go for the goal. Missed. Salah. Fati. Going into. Oh my god. We're putting our shots well wide. Far out. Push. Go on, Dembele. Oh. It was Depay, actually. Dempele was on the wing. Zelensky to Thiago Alcantara. There's a foul there. Dangerous free kick here. Garcia's on the line. I don't know if he's going to be tall enough. 21 yards out. Trent. Oh, what a brilliant free kick. Come on, get it out. Oh, my God. How did we not concede? Mane. Bobby Firmino. Firmino. Can we get a goal here at half time? Oh, we might be able to. Go on, Memphis. Can you beat Allison? Of course he can. 1 0 on the stroke of half time. What a huge morale boost. Memphis has gone and given the Catalans. We can go into the dressing room and say, boys, we're beating Liverpool. <laughs> we're winning against them. Oh my god. Liverpool, not going to lie, probably should be winning or at least leading this match. But they capitulated a bang on the halftime rest. And we're 1-0 up against Klopp's boys. Dembele. Memphis putting the pressure on Martip. And Liverpool have to go and play out from the back. Oh, hang on, we're on here again. Memphis. Oh, another great goal. 2 0. We've managed to find the crack in the wall. And, well, Memphis has charged his way on there through uh, through the crack in the wall. With, um, I don't know, <laughs> um, gloriful circumstances. We're up 2 <laughs> 0. Oh, I don't even know what I'm saying. Salah. Back to Zelinski. They probably could do with a play like Zelinski because their midfield can be really inconsistent, Liverpool's. Uh, they've scored there, as I say. The midfield scores with Fabino. But yeah, Thiago Alcantara. Uh, massively injury prone. Kieta. Just inconsistent is the word that comes to mind. But anyway, we're still winning 2 1. Oh, come off it. Mo Salah. Woo! Skips over the defence. Ball on in. Depay. Go on, Pedri. Oh, here we go. Liverpool. Oh, Merck to the back. A great goal there. Oh, my God. Dembele. I just wish he <laughs> just wasn't so injury prone, eh? Because he's dribbling his next level. But doing something like that in real life, you think he's going to twing a hamstring on in. Brilliant, perfectly timed cutback on his non-preferred foot. Smashes it into the left netting. Firmino. Salah. Oh, 
Nearly answers with Liverpool's second goal. But it looks like we're going to book ourselves a place in the final with only a couple minutes left, either against Manchester United or Atletico Madrid. Klopp, furious on the touchline, brings off Zielinski. Another ball in. Barcelona's defence, triumphant. Another ball in. They just can't get it up over the top. But that's it. Barcelona have smashed Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool at the Camp Nou. 3-1. Memphis Depay once again getting a 10 out of 10 rating. Outstanding by him. After that match against Liverpool, we had a match against Mallorca in La Liga. And we managed to go and beat them 2-1 thanks to Pedri and Memphis. Enrico Roman can be brought into the first team. And will do so. The next Messi, hopefully. A best Argentine player. Okay, so it looks like Atleti might... Yeah, they're probably going to... Yeah, it's going to be us and them in the final. Alright, back in the Champions League. We went to Anfield. And thanks to our victory at the Camp Nou, we beat them in Anfield. 2-1 quite comfortably. 5-2 on aggregate. Pablo Fernandez. He looks all right. Another Youth Academy player. We'll sign him up. Here is Pablo. And he can be promoted to the first team. Centre-back and CDM. Okay, so we've got May now. The final calendar month. And we've got Atletico Madrid. Okay. In the Champions League final at 30. But yeah, it looks like Real Madrid are probably going to win the Liga. But we've managed to come back to a top three finish, which is awesome. Seenings we were handicapped under Ronald Koeman. Uh, Real Madrid won the Super Cup. We've won the Copa del Rey, which is huge. And we have an opportunity to win the Champions League this season. Back in the Liga, we managed to beat Batiste 2-0. Pedri scoring the last goal there in the 83rd. Fati starting off the scoring. And we finally sold Griezmann as well back to Atletico Madrid for £50 million for next season. We managed to beat Celta Viga 2-1 after coming back, after they started off the scoring and were leading for a decent bit. And we've extended our run to 13 wins, which is awesome for Gavi. Or Chavi, rather. <laughs> now that Gavi has hit the scene, I struggle to say the two names differently. <laughs> Okay, so we've got the final match of the season against Villarreal. And we managed to beat them 3-1. So where does that leave us in our season? I am curious to see. Well, we've won the Copa del Rey. And we've got the Champions League final. We do have a chance to win the double. But however... Carlo Ancelotti has won the league with Madrid. Fati gets the golden boot, though, with 26 goals this season. And you'd imagine, yeah, most of our Barcelona boys have made a stake and claim to the team of the competition. So after 38 games played in La Liga, we managed to lose by three points. How crazy is that? We probably would have gone on and won it if we didn't have Ronald Koeman at the helm. Atletico Madrid managed to finish in third with 84 points. Unai Emery's VRL have Champions League football, last year's Europa League winners, with finishing on 76 points. Real Sociedad, David Moisey's former side, finished in fifth. They have... Europa League next season, finishing on 74 points. And Sevilla have claimed that Europa Conference League spot on 38 points. Uh, after 38 games played on 68 points, Valencia finished in 7th with Levante joining the top 8. Well, unfortunately, it's time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for Season 1, Episode 5, coming out tomorrow, where we have the Champions League final against Atletico Madrid. Unfortunately, it's time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Check out my social media links in the description below if you'd like to stay connected with me. Got to say a huge thank you to my patrons and channel members. 
Victor K, Sebastian C, Jordan K, Caesar L, Brian S, Tal, Liam B, Kyle P, Tom C, and Wyatt P. But thanks, guys. My name is Ben Simsy. Much love from Australia. Goodbye.